Teachers, you've now created an assignment for your students using the Google Assignments LTI 1.3. Let's take a look from a student perspective and see what that's going to look like. This will allow you to guide your students through the process the first time that you complete this operation. I'm going to navigate to Modules within the demo course, and I'm looking for the Google Assignments LTI 1.3 example. From there, I will be prompted to sign in. The student will need to sign in using their Google account. I have a demo account that I am just going to sign in with. Obviously, they're going to use their school account to do that. And then, of course, they will need to enter their password as well. And click Next. From there, the assignment, the Google Assignments will load, and you have the option to open the assignment right here. So I'm going to click Open Assignment. Notice this does open in a new tab. It does open in a new tab. And then from there, I need to click on the assignment itself to open the assignment. That will actually open a third tab. Um, but now I can type in my answers. You can see that I've experimented a little bit right here. Uh, so there, if I have forest green and Mexican as my two answers, I can obviously submit that assignment. As a Google Doc, this is always saved, so I can close out of that, and I can access it in my drive uh, at any point as well, but I can then click the Submit button right here. So I can click Submit, and I will be prompted, do I actually want to submit this? And yes, I do. I'm going to click Submit, and once I do that, I will be taken back to the screen that shows me that I am all set. If for some reason the teacher wanted me to submit that assignment again, then I would I could unsubmit and resubmit if needed. Uh, but again, then navigating back to Canvas, notice that if I refresh right here, it is going to show me that basic screen again, but let me know that I am all set. And if for some reason I needed to open the assignment, uh, I could do that here as well. I mentioned that a student would be able to find the file in their Google Drive as well. You can see that I have Google Drive open right here, and there is the Assignments folder. So if I double-click on the Assignments, I simply need to locate the course that I'm working in, and from there I can find the assignment that I'm working on. So if I open right here, notice this file is always stored in my Google Drive as well. So that gives me the ability to access through Canvas or through Google Drive. As you can see, for a student, this would be an extremely useful tool and would allow them to easily receive copies of your Google Docs. If you have any questions about this process, please let me know.